Good evening, uh, rail friends, family, and other families. Whether you know us in person or just from being online. Uh, the main thing is that together we share our experience, strength, and hope. And um, yeah, so it brings us to our evening meeting, which uh, isn't always on time. But there is always an evening meeting. So we know that there's been load shedding all over the place. And uh, how's it, Clutchy? Good evening, Michelle. Sharon, nice to see you guys watching. Lekka, there's some names that don't pop up, but I see your faces. How's it, Gladwin? I don't see your name, but I see your face up there. And, um, and yeah, rail live recovery stories. Um, as we go along, as we've said, we've, we've obviously just been, been trying to build up that, that people share and, and things like that. How's it, Duncan? As it uh, Lee J. And uh, yeah, as we go along and we build up and 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 things like that, we we will eventually get uh, get more families and 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 uh, and parents and and things sharing. I think tonight uh, tonight share is is uh, you know I I actually never know what the people are gonna say. Because the how's it, Robert? Regards, final stop. Dion. Okay, Michelle, are you in the dark? It's all right. Now you're in the light because you're watching the meeting. Good evening, Urda. How's it, Clacker? And um, so tonight, Tank is going to be sharing on a on a on a on a topic. Sometimes our our heading for our for our topics or for our meetings is is com it ends up completely different to what it really is. But tonight's one is is one that is that is pretty close close to 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 my belief completely all the time. And uh, I know Lee J posted it as there, but for the grace of God, go I. And um, you know, if you if you go deep into into that meaning, and and it can have a, a lot of meanings, a lot of different meanings for 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 a lot of people. But um, but as I say, I, I believe that 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 there's a lot of us, addict or non-addict. If you sit and you review your life, that uh, to me it feels like I'm here on borrowed time, and that borrowed time is the grace of God. Most definitely definitely the grace of God that uh, being alive or, or not being in prison or, or not being brain damaged or 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 not having to add, go through some of the other things that, that, that people go through and, and all of that but um, there but for the grace of God go I that is why I cannot look down on the oak at the robots because when I see him there but for the grace of God go I. It's only God's grace the reason that I'm not there. And uh, do you guys all like my t-shirt? We the people. i seen it and then uh, I had to get myself and, and Mr. Hall one. Because that's what, that's what Mr. Hall taught me. Is that, uh, you know, when, when I was half homeless or homeless... And I would sometimes meet up with him or, or, or walk with him or talk with him or whatever. Then I'd ask him once or twice, hey, like, what about the people? Like, aren't you embarrassed to be seen with a, with a person like me? And uh, I think he actually just used to put his head up higher and say, we are the people. And he'd look at me and he'd say, there but for the grace of God go I. And I always wondered, like, hey, how's this guy staying sober? He must know something about sobriety that I don't because I just, I'm just not getting it right. And, uh, you know, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, the penny drops. And uh, tonight, tonight with, 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 with tank sharing, I, I think it's a person in recovery that uh, everybody in recovery is, is, is pretty close to me. But it's, uh, but it's a journey that has 
that I've that I've watched that um, that I've experienced been been there to experience with and um, and 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 Tank will probably tell you that there was that there was days that that he probably didn't like me at all, but uh, but the reward of it all is that is that is that Tank's recovery, Ryan Engelke, that's Tank for those of you that don't know, his recovery is now balancing out and consistent and and he's doing well and and uh, and he's got love for his fellow man. So to watch something like that happen to another human being come from a place of, you know, a year ago, a year and a bit ago, he was physically in exactly the same place on the rail farm. And to watch him go from, from that place that he was in inside, being in the same physical address, and uh, a year and a bit later, still being at the same place physically, but a completely different place spiritually and, and inwardly. And, uh, you know, to watch, to watch something like that happen to, to another human being, you know that... that uh, that the grace of God is real and, and to know that uh, that it can happen to anybody. And uh, so yeah, Tank is doing well and uh, he's going to share, share now this evening. And um, I think, yeah, maybe we should all, we should all remember that. Eh? There but for the grace of God go I. That is, that is where, where my, where, where Gracie my dog's name comes from because we've all been let down by people or disappointed or they didn't do things our way or or sometimes we as human beings have, have been betrayed or betrayed others or or been disloyal. How's it, Cindy? Good evening, man. I don't always check the comments coming up there. And, um, and there's an old saying that goes, if you want loyalty, get a dog. And um, I can tell you now, through all the different kinds of people I've been, I found out that they, they weren't lying about that saying, if you want loyalty, get a dog. And, um, and that's, where, that's where Gracie's name comes from, is, is when I call her, it, it, it almost always reminds me of, of there but for the grace of God guy so um, I think it would be a nice meeting to listen to and um, like I say I've I've I've, I've walked a, a long road with with tank he's he shared experiences and things with me and uh, and that's how we help each other coolio so I'm gonna give it over to tank and let him share this evening and uh, that's how we do it. Yeah. Uh, good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, people around the world, hi to everyone. Hope you're all having a great evening this evening and that. Um, all the brothers in recovery, sisters in recovery and that. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, yeah, this this evening, um, uh, like Mr. Shulin had asked, yeah, well, I do a meeting, and I was like, well, for sure, like definitely, I would like to do a meeting. There's there's been something out, oh, clutchy has it. Get down to Michelle, Mal, everybody watching this evening, like, uh, um, yeah, and and and, and there's something that I've been like that, that's been laying on my heart like the last week and a half to two weeks, and. Um, it's it's it, it's been about grace, like the grace that God has had on my um on my life. Hello, God, yeah, you piggy. And um, yeah, I, 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 about about two weeks ago, I opened up the Bible. Um, well, there's actually a um a little pamphlet here in the kitchen that speaks about um, grace, 
and it's, uh, it comes from 12 Corinthians, I mean 2 Corinthians 12, um, verse 7 to 10. And, yeah, I, 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 I just looked at it, and um, I opened up the Bible and I started reading it. And and for the last two weeks, week and after two weeks, I I, have, I I can't take like I can't take my bookmark off this um, this part of the Bible and like this th th this verses in the Bible at the moment. There, there's something in it that's really touched me. It, it might have taken, you know, it, it really might have taken. <laughs> God, my Udi, lekker didas ja. It might have taken me thirteen and a half months to to maybe have this. You know, like what I call a bit of a spiritual awakening again as to as to what's really happened in my life. Um, there, there's been many meetings that I sit here and I speak and um, and meetings in the house and that, you know, like I listen to Mr. Hall and Mr. Shula and that and they're always like, yeah, but it's all about um, for the grace of God that I'm sitting here today and that. And, and I've sort of just listened to what they say and used their words and, and sort of just kept on saying yeah, you know, that's by God's grace that I sit here, but, but never understanding and, and never really, um, like, believing what I'm saying. And and actually taking the time to really get to know what, like, what God's grace really is. And, and, and what God's grace has really done for my life, for me to be sitting here today and, and feeling the way that I'm feeling, like, compared to how I was feeling 13 and a half months ago, like, at I always say it like I remember coming in here crying, a, 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 a broken person, spiritually broken, emotionally broken, not physically. And you know, I've always been a big guy. And I'll probably stay a big guy the rest of my life. That's why I'm known as Tank. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'd, like, like I said, I've always just said to everybody, yeah, it's by God's grace that we sit here. And I, I talk in the meetings and I keep saying it's by God's grace that we sit here. And I say at the end of the meetings, but it's by God's grace that I sit here. But but never never really believing or understanding what God's grace is. And and yeah, reading this piece two weeks ago, like like I said, it sort of gave me a spiritual awakening like to... To, to really know what I've been through in my life and, and to know where God has really been in my life because it, there, there's sometimes that, that we don't believe that God has been there when, when the situations occur in your life. And and today, like like I said, these situations happen and I, I can purely 100% believe that it was all by God's grace. And and it always comes down to like, like I used to say sometimes to, 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 to Mr. Hall and that, like I always tell them, I don't know how in, in the 10, 11, 12 years that I was drug dealing, that I never got pulled over by the police once, that I have never been locked up once, and that um, I've never been robbed once or, or, or anything like that. And, and Mr. Hall would always say, you know, it's, 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 it's by God's grace thing. And I, like I said, I've, I've, never, I've never ever understood that because... Um, like, I've, I've never tried to actually take the time out to, to, to get an understanding of what God's grace is and, and what God's grace is on my life. So, so reading this, like, I, I, I want to get to it, like, um, sort of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with, with the first, like, verse 7 and that. Um, I'm going to be reading a bit out the Bible here. And it says, But to keep me from being puffed up with pride, because of the many wonderful things I saw, and 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 that verse there, like, it, it really caught me because maybe I didn't see wonderful th things then. I thought I was I was so clever. I was drug dealing. I've never been caught. I'm so skellum that the police can't catch me, man. But like Mr. Hall always says, it's by God's grace that you weren't caught, caught tank. It wasn't because of your skellum. It wasn't because of, of how you operated it. You, like, it's purely because of God's grace. And, and you know, like, um, but to keep me from being puffed up with pride because of the many wonderful things I saw, like, like it, it was always false pride that I had. You know, you know, re really believing like everything that I was doing was was the skeleton, and I felt good because I was getting away with it, and and dishonesty was so like, 
was so part of my life and it, and, and it made me feel so good being so like dishonest and being able to con and lie to everyone that I felt good about myself because I used to get away with it and, and I felt better being a con and I felt better being a liar than being, a, than being an honest person. So, so like, the, the, that's where I get this thing, that false pride and that came in. Um, and then it says, I was given the painful physical ailment. The painful physical ailment that I, that I believe right now that, that this part of the Bible is, is reading to me is, is my disease of addiction. Um, you know, it's, it's not always physical. The way I see it is it's emotional, it's um, spiritual, it is physical, it's everything. And um, I, I was broken. And, and, and to come back from this sometimes always seemed impossible. I, I didn't believe that I could. I, I never thought, I never had hope, I never had faith that I could ever um, come right. And um, I, like... Like I say, I keep on reading those verses and I keep on getting these light bulb moments. It gets different meaning to me every single time I read it. And um, it says here, which acts as Satan's messenger to beat me and keep me from being proud. And um, like the, the, the more I was, I was a drug addict, the more I was in this disease of addiction that, that I'm stuck in. And well, not right, like right now, I'm, I'm still stuck in it. I'll always be an addict for the rest of my life, but I feel that, that I'm helping myself overcome it. You know, as long as I don't forget that, um, that I'm a drug addict and I keep on. Sorry, I'm just reading your message. I'll, I'll show you if you read the Bible what it can do if you understand it spiritually. Yeah, thank you, my Ore. Um, which acts as Satan's messenger to beat me and keep me from pride. The, the, the more I kept believing the, the, these things that was happening and, and, and that I was going through, um, that, that, that I'm a con and that, that I'm a liar and, you know, th th there's nothing good about me. Like a night lady, love you lots. Um, which accent is that mentioned to beat me and keep me from being pride? Like, it, it, it's the more I couldn't get the pride in myself, man. To actually really be proud of who I have become today. Like, the, those times, was I really proud of who I am? Like, I, I, I can't believe that I was ever proud of myself. It, it was all part of that false pride that I had. Like, you know, that, that, that confidence that you had, but, but, but the wrong confidence, not the right confidence that you really wanted to actually... To feel that real good about yourself and feel real good inside of yourself and that. Um, and, and then I go on to read it, um, to read, three times I prayed to the Lord about this and asked him to take it away. <laughs> and I've, I've, I've probably prayed to God a lot more than three times eh, to, to, to take away my addiction. And most of the times that I prayed to God to take away this disease of addiction is when I was stuck in the sticky situations through my addiction, owing people money. Um, you know, you know, like I, I, I speak today, like, and I, I sometimes, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't fall into self pity and all about it, like part of my prayer the defects. But today I can sit here, and I'm, I, 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 I want to get tears in my eyes right now. But um, I'm trying to be strong for this meeting. Is, is that, um, you know, I've, I've, I've put my family in such. Oh, difficult positions. Even in times that, that, that our family was, was really like struggling in that. Me, through, through my stupidity and like through my disease of addiction, like I kept on, I kept on pushing and I kept on doing the, the things that I was doing. You know, the bad things, like I said, conning people, stealing from people. Um, I, I always like had to, let me say this, I'd, I'd I owed a lot of people money. I, I think I still owe a lot of people money. I do. And I, I used to con a lot of people in that out of money and that. And, and sometimes some very dangerous people in that, that, that my family's even been put in situations. Um, and I, I, today I really feel bad about putting my family in those um, situations. Because um, I, I, I put them at risk. I put their lives at risk. Um, put myself at risk. I'd, I should have been dead with the people that that, that, that I've conned in it. And, and as they always say, it's, it's all by the grace of God that I'm sitting here today. 
my, my family helped me pay back these people and that so that they wouldn't touch me, they wouldn't harm me, they wouldn't hurt me and that. And um, yeah, I, I, I just always like wanted to like sort of talk about some of the insanity things and that that I did. And I, I'm still sitting here today, like it, it's 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 unbelievable. And I, I truly sort of get to that point, like where where I'm sitting here today, and I understand what God's grace has done to my life. Um, because further on here in in this in this verses that I'm going to go through, it says, "But his answer was throughout all of this addiction and that that that, that, that we've been going through, and through every answer that I've always wanted, the answer has always been here in front of me." And Mr. Holland him said all the time that if I had taken time out 12 months ago, 13 months ago to, to actually understand what God's grace has done to my life, I, I, it, it could have maybe opened up a door for me a long time ago. But as they always say, everything happens in God's time as well. And um, I, I feel it's been the right time. It says, my grace is all you need. For my power is greatest when you are weak. You know, I've, I've I've been, as they say, the, the addiction makes us weak people. We, we're strong people, yes, because we've got through what we've gone through. There's not many people that aren't addicts that probably would have gone through the things that some of us addicts have done there. Um, the, the insane things that we've done. We like I believe that all of us addicts here on this farm are a special bunch. Eh? And I hear some of the stories of the guys and what they've done, like how they survived it. It's it's crazy, but it's God's grace. It's all God's grace on our lives. Um, I sometimes think that other people wouldn't be able to go through what guys have done. Um, what us guys have done in that. And um, yeah, um, when it gets here and it says, My grace is all you need for my power is greatest when you're weak. I came in here a broken person. And I, I always believed in God. But not always, you know, like sort of just touched on God and like sometimes prayed to God, but but never really trying to get in touch with God. And through working this program, hi Colleen. Good day, Tanya. Hey, Auntie Tanya. How's it? Um, where was I? Yeah, um, yeah, but the greatest when you're weak. Like, I, I, I feel like I came in here an extremely weak, broken person, like I said. And, um, you know, there's only the. the God entered my life at the right time because through working this program, like I said, almost the last 14 months, 13 and a half to 14 months, I can feel the strength again. I can feel God in my life. I can feel God's strength working through my life. Um, and, and God had to take me from a weak person to bold me into a strong person because m maybe I had to be broken before I, could be, before I could be built up and before I could be the strong person that I was meant to be, the Ryan, the tank that everyone thinks I should be, or that that in God's image I am made to be. Um, like, yes, man. You know, it, 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 it troubles me why it took me so long to really look into it as to why God's grace has happened on me. But then also, like, I just want to bring this on, like, um, M M Mr. Shula, I asked him this evening, is there anything in the literature and that that comes up? Um, I said, Vinny, is there anything in the literature that actually has to come up um, about grace and God's grace on our lives and that? And he, he took out one or two books, and then afterwards he took out a big black book here out the drawer. Um, and and it says here that, it said in that book that you, you can only really believe in God when you believe in the grace of God. Because it's only through God's grace that Jesus died, was put on that cross and died for our sins. It's all through God's grace. Yeah, Mr. All, good evening, sir. Um, yeah, Mr. All, I sold your shoes sir, the day I walked out here for three hours. Yeah, sorry to, to I'll, I'll tell everyone, so Mr. All bought me a pair of shoes a while back and I left here on about my six, seven months when I took a walk down the gravel road, not being happy about things and sort of betraying Mr. All at that time and um, I'd I got to the petrol station and uh, I sold my all shoes, <laughs> thinking to myself that, you know, I just want to get rid of every single thing that Mr. Hall has got me. But hey, today I can sit here and truly say that um, Mr. Hall's giving me a second chance also by God's grace. I was allowed to walk in the stores and in the gates of this farm again.
through God's grace and through Mr. Hall, always uh, like believing and having faith in people of, of what they really are. Um, yeah, that I, I, I have to say thank you today for God's grace on me through, and through Mr. Hall's grace on me as well for allowing me to be here and allowing me to be back here and that again. And I really have to thank him for that. Um, so, so going on. <laughs> yeah, like it was a um, Yeah, my grace is all you need for my power is greatest when you're weak. I am most happy then to be proud of my weaknesses. You know, well, to, I'm most happy then to be proud of my weaknesses. If it wasn't for my weaknesses, I'd, I wouldn't be able to sit here today and feel as strong as I am because, yes, I had my strengths and, and I always believed in working on my strengths, but I never even knew my weaknesses. And I didn't believe I had weaknesses until I came here to rail and until God's opened up that door for me actually to see what my weaknesses are. Because it's all by God's grace of me being here that I actually get to follow this program and, and work this program and see what, what my character defects are and, and, and what my weaknesses are in my life. Like, and, and it's through being here that, that I can work on my weaknesses, like I said, and strength to strength every single day. Um, as he says in... Um, in order to feel the uh, yeah, and then it says, I am most happy then to be proud of my weaknesses in order to feel the protection of Christ's power over me. So I had to, I had to feel what I did in, in my weaknesses, and that I, I had to feel broken, yeah, I had to feel down, I had to feel everything, and and just start believing in God because through believing in God I really get Christ's power as it says here the protection of Christ's power over my life that, 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 that is grace that God has given me this evening because without the protection of, of Christ's power over my life I wouldn't be sitting here today um, it's yes, man you know like uh, <laughs> there's something that, that I wanted to like you know I, I was never brought up in, I wasn't brought up in a, in a bad um, family. I was brought up actually in a real, a real good family, a family that also did everything for me and gave me everything and that may, maybe sort of sometimes enabled me almost to death, but hey, yeah, the old benefits are always good. But um, to, to see where I went down into and to, and to see to what levels that I, that I put myself down and Sort of the levels that I stooped to in my life, like, you know, me, a white boy from Edgemead, riding with gangsters in Woodstock, in Kensington, in Alsies, and that, like, like that, such disrespect to my family, and, you know, like, who, who, who was I? Who was I thinking I was, man? Like, the shame that I put on my family and that, like... And me thinking that I was cool at that time and I was the O at that time doing this. Like, that man, I wasn't brought up to be that person. My mother never brought me up to be that person and neither did my father. Um, so, yeah, um, let me go on with this. Um, in order to feel the protection of Christ's power over me, I'm content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and difficulties. For Christ's sake. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's this part of it that, that, that really stood out for me. Like, I, I, I can keep reading this over and over. I'm content with weaknesses. Because if it wasn't for self-pity that I was in, and not, and not me of having the spiritual awakening that I had four or five months ago, where Mr. Hall speaks about you every single evening about gratitude, about gratitude, about gratitude. And I just, I always just looked over the gratitude and yeah, what, you know, what is gratitude? And never really understanding what gratitude is. I, I had a spiritual awakening into self-pity, like self-pity, you know, always looking at what I don't have, always thinking everyone in the world owes me everything. Where the answer was right in front of me, the spiritual awakening I had today, walking down the road here on a morning walk was... Maybe stop concentrating so hard on self-pity and concentrate on the thing opposite to self-pity or the thing that would really help me get out of self-pity, which is gratitude. 
So stop working on the self-pity and doing research on self-pity mm. and start doing research and start working on the gratitude. Because I've never had gratitude. I, I was never, ever grateful for anything in my life. Yeah, okay. M maybe one or two things. I can't say ever in my life. But <laughs> um, I, I struggled because I was always given everything and always had everything to be grateful for anything in my life. Whenever I wanted something, I got it. Whether it was through conning people, whether it was through begging my mother, whether it was through holding a knife to my mother, or pushing my mother or spitting on my mother to get what I wanted. I, I could never be grateful because I always got what I wanted. And, 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 and that's what this sentence means to me. I'm content with my weaknesses today. Because if I wasn't content with my weaknesses and, and, and being content that, yeah, you know, self-pity is one of my character defects, that maybe the pride that I stand with at times, that, I, that, that the pride that stood in my way from surrendering here as well, like, it's a weakness of mine. But I can honestly sit here and say that if it wasn't for the pride that, that, that me... That, that I struggled to break, to actually surrender, and that, like, I wouldn't be sitting here as content was a word, because I had to be dropped so low that I could be picked up so high to where I'm sitting today because of my pride. Like, my weaknesses that I've worked on and that was broken has made me into the man that I am today. And it's all, as we say, as what the meeting is about, through the grace of God. If it wasn't of God's grace in my life, I would not be sitting here. And, um, yeah, I'm content with insults, hardships, persecutions, and difficulties for Christ's sake. Like, hey, growing up, I was insulted a lot for my weight and that, for being a big man and that. And, and today, through Mr. Hall working on me in this program and Mr. Schuller working on me in this program and the guys working from me in this program, like, you know, I, I, I get insulted here at times and that, but... I'm, I'm learning not to be so sensitive to it anymore and not it affect me. Because as a, as a child, like I always say, like, I, I, I was bullied and then I became the bully to sort of, um, to, to defend myself and to make myself feel better about myself. I became the bully because that way I felt better. But, um, you know, I'd, being bullied and then being insulted, it, it, it also broke me and took me down into a place that I'm, I'm the most sensitive Mr. Hall always says I'm, I'm extremely sensitive. I wouldn't say maybe, maybe one of the most sensitive on the farm in that. But today I can sit here and I can take a cocky nut. I can take somebody calling me a fat this, a fat that, and I laugh at them. Okay, not all the time. Sometimes I have my bad days still and I, and I sort, of, sort of trip out in that. <coughs> but things like that, I, I, I let it go in the, in the one ear and out the other. Because, um, be, because of how Mr. Hall... And Mr. Schuller and that have, have sort of worked this program onto me as well and, and how they've worked me um, to get me to where I am today and that as well. And, and it's all through God's grace because if I never came to this rehab, if I never came here and Mr. Hall didn't work on me and Mr. Schuller didn't work on me and that like, w w would I be feeling how good I am today? Would I know any of these problems? Would I even know that there is God's grace on my life and that God has given me grace on my life? Would I have been sitting in this kitchen two weeks, like two weeks ago, reading the Bible and getting to this point and actually reading about God's grace and seeing that sign up in that poster in the kitchen that speaks about God's grace? Like, I, I feel this is sort of another spiritual awakening that I've had in my life again. Like, dishes is like God's grace. It never runs out. Yeah, like Mr. Schuller said, dishes is like God's grace because it never runs out. <laughs> yeah, um... You know, um, it says here, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Yeah, I've, I've, I've touched a lot on that and I've, I've, I've pushed a lot on this this evening. Like, um, for when I am weak, I am strong. If, if, we can't, if we can't bring our weaknesses up to the same level as our strengths, like, or, or get them balancing out, like Mr. Shula said earlier, in that, that I'm starting to balance out a lot more than what I was in it. I had a lot of ups and downs and... And sometimes I'd allow my weaknesses to go low, back down to the low points and that again. But today I'm allowing my, um, you know, I'm, I'm not allowing my weaknesses to go to go down as low as what they were. Like, like when my weaknesses fall down, I like to bring my strengths a bit up so it can keep the balance there. Or you know, just just pushing myself 
it's also to, to, to keep that little bit of wellness. But, but the main thing that I always have to keep remembering here is um, the gratitude. Because if I don't have gratitude, I can't recover. And, um, you know, if, if it wasn't God's grace in my life, like, I wouldn't be able to sit here to this evening and maybe touch somebody's, like, heart or maybe get into somebody's mind this evening. Um, because uh, the, I, I feel that this is what I love doing as well, is sharing the messages that I've, that I've got and sharing these light bulb moments and these... Um, Sorry, I'm just checking out where Junior is Jimmy Green. <laughs> yeah. And sharing these light bulb moments that I have in that, um, you know, and these little spiritual awakenings that I have. So, yeah, that th th this evening, like, I'm so glad that I could give a meeting on, on, on God's grace and what God's grace has done for me and how God's grace has helped me work on my character defects of this program. Actually, you know, I've, I've even forgot to mention, like, what God's grace has done for me and my family. That, um, that, that, that I can sit here this evening and say that myself and my father were quite close again. After many years not speaking, and, and my father allowed me back into my life, um, allowed me back into his life. And, and me opening up the door to have my father again in my life. And, and you know that, that, that today even God's grace can allow me to have a decent, civilized relationship with my mother. Not a relationship of me abusing her. If not mentally, emotionally, physically. Today I'm, 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 I'm a good son to my mother and hopefully my mother can be proud of me. And my father today, like, sitting here. And, and, and like I said, be, be proud of me as a son, man. And what I've done, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for how I'm feeling today. And as I have to say to, in this meeting, like I've said here tonight, it's all for the, like, the grace of God that I'm sitting here. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd, I would like to go into a lot more on that, um, but I, I do sort of feel that I've, 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 I've shared what, what I felt was on my heart tonight and what, where the spirit has taken me and, um, and yeah, um, you know, there, there, there was something so small, like this is going a bit off the, the, the grace of God and, and sort of in my recovery as well today that I, that I just had a, a thought of that, I'd, that I just wanted to share. And, and it's, about, it's about dishonesty and lying and that, eh? like something as, as very small as this, like I was always thinking to myself, yeah, I was a, I was a liar, a compulsive liar. And even coming here into rehab, and, and even now, so once in a while, now still, you know, a white lie in there, and it says that we have to be rigorously honest. I almost said vigorously honest, you know, like viciously honest. <laughs> but, um, you know, rigorously honest, and that, like, like if, if, if I think back to, like, today, like, I'd, I never ever thought of it like this, eh? Like, and I, I don't know why I also thought of this today, like, if my addiction, my addiction didn't take me to lying. I started lying way before my addiction. And as they say, like, we, we, we picked up the drugs. We were drug addicts before we even picked up the drugs. Our ways and the way, like, the, the things that we did in that, like. I, I always said, like, people always say that a lying comes with addiction. But no, like, 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 like I'm about to say, no, I didn't. Like, when I was already 11, 12, 13 years old at home. And my mother used to go to the shop like every day, every second day, or every third day. I I, I used to I used to enjoy like <laughs> sorry, not enjoy it. She she always used to buy chocolates and chips and you know like like Viannas and her Fanta that she always wanted in the fridge and stuff like that. And um, I'd get them from school and I would finish her chocolates as well, which I know is for her. I would finish her chips and finish her Viannas, and it's only me and her living in the house. And she would be like. Go off her rocket screaming and shouting, where's my chips, where's my Viennas, where's my chocolates? And I would start lying then already and be like, I don't know, mom, who was it? It must have been you, I mean, but, but like, <laughs> sitting here now thinking about it and laughing, like, there was nobody else in us, it was only me, but it's those small little lies, and that, that started building up, 
to the to my part of my addiction and 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 into my addiction then already the skellum then already to cover up everything to try and cover up everything um just like i covered up my addiction um when same when moving out the, um, the house with my mother and moving to my auntie and that um when moving in by my father coming out of the previous rehab you know like I covered up so well, I, I was using drugs in their house and they didn't even know. Because I, I was scaling, I was, I was dishonest. I, I, I went to them to ask for help. I, I also want to say this. I remember, like, <laughs> Wesley. <laughs> yeah, I always used to, die. I was used to lie to my mother about the food in that day. Like, yeah, that day. But I mean, you know, fat people also need to be loved and we also need to eat. <laughs> um... Yeah, I actually forgot where I was going to go to and that now. Um, but yeah, I, 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 let, let me go back, sort of. I know I said I was going to finish. I just want to go back to the grace, eh? Like, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy that I gave this meeting this evening. And I'm extremely happy that, 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 that this light bulb woman came to me two weeks ago. And um, yeah, I, I can't emphasize more on what the grace of God has done for me. And what it's done, what it's doing for everybody on this farm, and what it's done for people on this farm, and that like, I mean, these guys like Richie that I was here with, that's out there three years. Um, guys like Freddie, I know, who come here, and that Big J, Justin Portita, Lekker, inspired me to come here. He's part of the reason why I came here, and that. Yo, Garth, I was saying that today. Fat lives matter. <laughs> hey, we also need to be loved. It's like a fat boy loves cake. But, um, yeah, I, I, you know, every small little thing, like, you, you can look at could, could, could be brought into the thing of God's grace in my life. Like, like how did I end up here? Um, I, I asked my boss for help. My boss contacted Justin Porti, the big J, and asked him um, what rehab he went to. And, okay, could he contact Mr. Anthony Ollier, uh, Mr. Hall, and Mr. Schuller and that? And, um... That, that's how I ended up coming here, and, and today I can also say like that's God's grace in my life. Because I think if I was at any other rehab, I wouldn't be sober today. I would not be sober today. It's only through Mr. Hall's knowledge and Mr. Schuller's knowledge and the grace on their lives, and through them being able to give us the message that they have to give us, that I'm sitting here sober today. Yeah, Jared, thanks for stealing that over us that day. Like, uh, I was upset, but I couldn't do anything about it because we were both scaling about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Jared, hope you're well, bro. And Lee J, love you lots, like jelly tots. Nah, I'm joking. Um, yeah, even even Vanna sitting here two years, I mean, when I came in here like 13 and a half, 14 months ago, I remember looking at Vanna and being like, hey, this guy needs a lot of love eh? and a lot of like... A lot of care and, and, and to sit there see now like Van had two years and I'm here fourteen months later, like the the way Van has even changed and the grace of God and and, and God's grace on Vanna's life to how he's changed, like it's also something that's it's it's good to see, man. Already it's it's lovely to see like it's, it's lovely to see guys come in here and how they change, man. And it's all as we say all the time, all by God's grace. Because like I said, if we don't believe that it was God's grace that put Jesus Christ on the cross to die for our sins so that we could have grace every single day of our lives, then we don't believe and we don't trust in God. And yeah, we, we are really um, trusting in God it hasn't been easy. It's very difficult to trust in somebody that you can't see, touch and feel. But um, th th then you look around and even at this phone in front of me, or I look at the mountains, I look at the snow on the mountains, I look at the grass that's on the field that five months ago, I never thought there would be grass again. Like, And it's only because there, there is a God out there. And um, if I never believed in it, I never trusted. Like, This is the time in my life that I do believe and I do trust in God. Because um, the, the evidence is all around us. I'd, I'd, you know, like, even, even at the emotional, like, the music in the mornings and that, that I love so much, like, 
in the in devotions and that's like hey my first three four months every time a song came on i couldn't understand why i was crying but it was the holy spirit working inside of me man and healing me and actually believing what i was singing for a change and believing the messages that are giving my devotions and not just giving it to people please or to or to show somebody that i'm doing it like Hey, I'm doing devotions. I'm look at me. I'm doing well. Like, no. Do you really believe what what you're actually giving in devotions? Is it really sinking into your heart? And are you really taking it to cup? And um, allowing the spirit to take over, and allowing the spirit to take over that feelings, and and allowing the spirit to like completely fill you, and allow the spirit and God and Jesus, and as I say, Mr. Hall and Mr. Shuli, by the grace of God, sit here to help us, to help me. To get to where I am today. And um, yeah. I, I, I do believe that this is all by God's grace. And I'm, I'm thankful tonight um, for the rail organization. For everybody that's listened here this evening. For everybody that's going to listen. Um, for the guys that, I, that I've been here with. like um, Even even people like here. Yeah, like I'm checking Jared come up here. And that like hey that guy was a tolerance tester at times there. Eh? But um, it's it's because of the guys that are tolerance testers and the guys sometimes that you like sort of you know you like them but you don't like them and and you have to like them you because they. Like Mister Shooters, like the guys come in your area and they're sorry for everything. <laughs> and yeah, Janet was the most sorry person that I knew. Like, I used to walk and he used to look at me and he'd be like, "I'm sorry." <laughs> I don't know if I was intimidating or what, but yeah. Um. Yeah, no, God, it is another Adidas hoodie, my bro, just the wrong color. This is orange today and not turquoise. Because you know what happened with the turquoise one? Oh, Van is online. Um, no, Van probably wants to come make a comment here now. But um, yeah, no, th th thank you very much everyone for listening and that this evening. And like I said, thank you to the rail organization. Um... Thank you to, to my family um, for helping me today. My father, my mother, my aunties, my uncles, my grannies, my cousins. I mean, my younger cousins have sent me up brand new shoes and bought me brand new shoes and that. That are 20 years old. Me at 30. Getting, getting things like that from my younger cousins today. Like it's small things like that that I can be grateful for. And like that I really am grateful also for... My family loving me so much and giving me another chance in my life. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's more than I could ever ask for. I'm, I'm looking here like, Mr. Shula is probably going to want to close this meeting. And um, I know if he gets stuck into the grace of God, he'll explain a lot because his dog's name is named after um, Gracie because of um, also this, this verse. The grace of God is with us every day, every minute, even driving down the road. And, and you know, the truck riding past you doesn't come off the road and eat you. But yeah, like it's, it's small little simple things eh, that, we, that we take for granted in our lives and we don't, um, and we don't, and we don't look at it like it's, it's God that's done it for us. But every single thing that he's done for us, even the bad times, God has done it. So that we could eventually get to the good times. So yeah, as as I, as I'm, I'm gonna close off now, and like I said, thank you very much to Rail, to Mr. Hall, to Mr. Schuler, to the guys that I've been here on the program with. Probably the 60 to 100 different people that I've been here with in the last 14, 13 or 14 months. Um, to Auntie Michelle, who's also come here and you know giving me also a lot of love and that as a woman that I'd never known before or met before and that um, yeah um, every every parent that's coming here has always also been very very welcoming and very loving and that um, it must be a, a addict trait you know an addict trait for the parents as well all need a lot of love and we get it and yeah we get it especially at Rail we get a lot of love here from Mr. Hall and Mr. Shula and the guys there the leadership guys and that like yeah. like I guess even Graham I love Graham lots it's also a big inspiration, five years and that. And it's also God's grace on him. Coming from pushing the bins, scratching in bins, digging in bins, to sitting here today with his panel beating shop in the back. All by the grace of God. 
So yeah, thank you very much for listening tonight. Thank you for allowing me to share and for giving my little bit of um, meaning that, that, that God's grace has touched me in my life over the last week, like, well, over, over my whole lifetime, but over the last week and a half, especially, like, understanding what God's grace really does done for me. So, yeah, thank you. Thanks to all. Love you all. And hope you all have a great week. And, yeah, thank you very much. Sure. Tank. You know, just by the names popping up, yeah. I think the grace of God is always moving and shaking and all of that. And we're not Bible bashers, yeah, or Bible punches, or, or you know, I explained to a to a family today that uh, that it's it's more about our heart sometimes than than our actions because sometimes uh, we don't always get the action right and eventually we get to a point where we want to do right and and when we eventually if we keep on going and keep on trying to do right then eventually that grace window opens wider and uh, and God grants us the the success but uh, yeah, like I, like I said earlier, to, to see a man come from I might even uh, I might even maybe explain it wrong, but not wrong. And uh, <laughs> to, to see a man like like uh, like a lot of the guys watching this evening, Clutchy, Jared, Garth, Gladwin, Vanna, these are all, all guys that are that are sober that, that, that came through the through the program. And uh, the program teaches you that uh, if you if you keep pushing and keep doing what you what you need to do that <coughs> that all of us only sit here even the even the the other viewers watching watching the meeting this evening it's it's all by the grace of god eh? it's purely by god's grace that that i don't have a needle in my arm tonight because um without the grace of god all of us that are sober we're only an arm's length away from the next drink or drug amen alexander definitely and uh you know to to see a to see a person I tell you there's 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 no drug that can that can give you that long term satisfaction. There is there's no quick fix that can give you that satisfaction or as much satisfaction as as seeing a guy coming from the very brokenness. Maybe not the poorest in uh in finances like okay, tank was poor because he sold everything and sold uh, other people's things and that and uh, but poor in spirit he was he was tank was a broken man when he when he came in through these doors through a series of, of things that he had put himself through and and done to himself and and actions that that he sometimes took long to recognize that uh, in the bigger scheme of things we we ultimately hurt ourselves through through all these different things through the pride through through the jealousy and envy and and uh, comparing with others and 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 all of that and and judging others or putting others down and and putting ourselves up because we're not satisfied with ourselves and that but um, you know, to we've we've obviously we've had our challenges and, and problems and all of that, and it's and, and again I say it's only by grace that 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 tank has, has, has gotten through this, or there's some some gap that opened up on tank's mind that was very closed. Tank came in here with a closed mind, and he was very unwilling, 
and then uh, I think one morning Mr. Hall called him in and and uh, had a had a talking to with him and put him in the and then, uh, and then one of the principles of recovery happened, and and um, and then, yeah, Tank even told me the one day that he won't get out of bed now, and if and if uh, and the only thing that's gonna get him out of the bed, I must phone the police for him. I paid my rent. Yeah, no, he paid his rent. He's going to uh, he's going to lay in freck there. <laughs> And um, and yeah, it's changed com- completely, eh? completely. Um, being selfish and and uh, and all of that has has almost slipped away. And and Tank takes a big interest in in the newcomers and trying to help the people get through the different feelings and stuff that that he has been through. And uh, that's how we carry the message and and pass on. What has been freely given to us. The message gets carried for free. And um, so thank you all for, for watching this evening and that. And uh, yeah, that's Tank, eh? Tank is, tank is very changed. And and when we, when we talk about what we... We don't talk about what we do for other people and how we help them and, and all of that. What, what we do is we, we talk about ourselves. So if you're a good race car driver and that's what you do and you come first when you go around the track and that's what that's what you talk about, then uh, then that's what you talk about because that's who you are, you know. Um, and...